everyone, it's Dustin with TechMD. I am using a new getup today, using a tripod. A customer had a tripod and he's like, you gotta try this. And I'm like, okay, and it looks pretty awesome. And I'm actually using my new $70 microphone, which I hope it works, I hope it sounds good, because if not, this is all for nothing. Anyways, um, we're going to be replacing the LG G6. So make sure the very first thing you're gonna do is turn off your phone, which is on the back side here. My phone is already off, and you're going to um, open up and take out the SIM card here, uh, which is very important, as we're gonna have to remove the motherboard. Okay, so here's my SIM card popper. I'm gonna go ahead and push that out. And we're gonna just set that aside. So this is glass back, we're gonna actually have to remove it which is gonna be fun. I'm gonna use the iFlex tool here, which we'll link that in the description down below. And we're gonna blast this full of heat. So in order to use this um, microphone that I'm using, I am using a program on my Galaxy S8 Plus called Open Camera. And then I go into the settings and I changed the settings to uh, use external mic. I was using this on my Bluetooth headset with BT Mono, but it, as you could tell, my audio quality wasn't very good in my previous videos. So hopefully my audio quality is gonna increase big time. At least that's the goal. Also, I put my phone on airplane mode so no one can call me. So we're gonna warm that up hot to the touch and just put something down so that way you don't burn yourself. Open it up. You get in between the, screw, uh, the back glass and the frame. And don't cut too deep because we don't even know what we're doing here. We don't wanna cut any cables. It looks very similar to the Galaxy S six and s7 see if we can actually start moving this up now nope we cannot so we're going to cut a little bit more and carefully lift up this is my actual first time opening up this phone, and I have even watched a tutorial video. That's how I've always done it for all the years I've been working on phones. Okay, so it looks like the G6 connector is not like the Galaxy S8 connector. The S8 connector actually connects to the board. This one connects to a complicated system through these little shiny connectors to there. So if this ever broke the back glass, it would be a real pain in the rear to replace this back panel. Just giving you guys a heads up. I am not interested in replacing that back panel right now. So it looks like a dual camera system on this. I would assume they went with the same system. Did they go with a wide angle lens as well? Yeah. It's too bad the Note 8 didn't go with a wide angle. They went like what Apple did with the optical zoom two on their secondary camera. Can't wait for that to be launched. Probably by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be launched. Today is August 19th. I gotta review my smartwatch here one of these days and um, see how long it takes my video editor to edit this video and get it up online. <laughs> so I'm actually at a customer's house and like I said, uh, earlier in the video, he has let me use his tripod. In fact, I just told him I'm gonna buy your tripod because my my tripod, which is this thing here, totally broken off this. So these things are a piece of junk. Only cost 10 bucks, but not worth buying if they're gonna just break. All right, we almost got all these screws unscrewed here. Sometimes I like to fast forward through the screws and other times I like to just gab through all the screws. Um, I don't know, I like to entertain my audience, I guess. All right, so this looks very similar to the Galaxy 8. 
Looks like we're going to have to uh, pull off some of these brackets off to the uh, left or right hand side, left hand side for you guys. I assume. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty easy. It pops up. It's a wireless charger and some plastic clips. I'm going to pop this up here too. Okay. And since I bought the whole LCD in frame, which I highly recommend so that well, you never have glue problems and it'll come straight up, um, you're going to have to transfer everything here to here. So it's going to be quite a nightmare, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Customers will be more happier because they get a brand new frame. Unfortunately, I bought the wrong color. So you can use your fingernail or you can even use some of these plastic tools. Sometimes when you buy screens, you can get plastic tools. If you're like, oh boy, this is already too complicated, you can send it to us. We're also located in Utah, and we could come to you and do the repair at your house like I'm doing for this gentleman. Um, okay, looks like we got this front camera here that we got to unplug. I'm looking for screws on the motherboard, but it doesn't look like it has any. Um, no, there's no screws. So let's start lifting the board out of there. Okay, well that was easy, board's out. Okay, and let's take the front camera and move that out of the way, and we're gonna have to remove all this, all these pieces here, all these little tiny ones. And it looks like we have to remove the heat pipe because they didn't install the heat pipe on the new one. So watch out for that. That's gonna be interesting. That is definitely something new. I've never had to remove the heat pipe off a, a, a frame. It's really disappointing. I know a guy who should be able to get these refurbished. So if you're interested in getting your entire phone refurbished, also let me know. We might have a different price for that in the future. So look out for that. Um, if you want to just send these frames in, we can possibly get those refurbished as well. So what I'm doing is just peeling up some of these pieces up and off the frame carefully. Now the ear speaker loves to break off, so make sure you dig deep and then lift up. They like to separate is what I'm trying to get at. So this one did not separate. I'm going to immediately put it over here so that we, it doesn't lose its adhesiveness and nothing gets in it. So that sticker piece is already moved over, so that's good. Um, Looks like they have something sh uh, black here over the shininess. I'm not sure if it's movable or not, but I try to like to put everything back to original as much as possible. So we're gonna move that sticker over. Now hopefully I'm not getting in the camera too much. I think I'd have to go that way to get in the camera. Um, this new tripod experience is definitely different because I have to remember where the camera is. Okay. Let's get under here and pop that out. That's your vibrator. I'm gonna just stick it on this one here. Uh, has to go at a different angle. Come on, get in there. There we go. It sits right up against the housing there. This piece doesn't seem to be transferred either. Uh, looks like your volume rocker, but this is the volume rocker. Oh, the volume buttons are not in there? Are you kidding me? Well, that makes life difficult. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get this all in there. Well, that's going to be fun. Okay, so let's move this piece out and move that. And let's move this piece. Let's see if we can get to these buttons. Buttons seem to be attached inside the frame. Hopefully they can come out. Yes, they come out. This guy's going to have an Oreo phone. Bring 
go. Push this one out now. And here we go. Okay, so we got that out. And now we're going to have to, this already has that piece over there. We're going to stick that right there. Right up against that and let's, oh. Yep, we got clicking action, perfect. Okay, now heat pipe is next. And this is very fragile as I remember. Um, so what we're gonna do here is first, let's actually remove the battery. And I like remove the battery with a little heat. So you can use whatever temperature you want. I just use a $20 heat gun or a hot plate will work as well if you're not mobile. <laughs> And I just blast it full of the, at high degrees and I just keep on touching. I'm looking for hot to the touch. It's pretty hot to the touch. Make sure my frame is a little warm. It's not that warm. Okay, now we're going to get in between the battery here. It's very close. Oh, there's no metal frame. Okay, I thought there was a metal frame in there. Most batteries have metal frames. Slice downward, never upward. That's a good way to puncture your battery. So right now the frame is very hot and it's burning my hands, so that's why I keep on kind of moving my hands. There you go. That's how you remove the battery very carefully. <laughs> So there's no adhesive on the new frame, so we can attempt to try to transfer this adhesive or use some new double-sided adhesive tape. I got mine hot enough and it just transferred pretty well. Nope, it didn't transfer at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, actually I'm not gonna put the battery in yet because I wanna transfer all these weird other pieces. So let's get on this and let's warm up the, the back frame again so we can remove this heat pipe. Hot gloves are also recommended. Okay, so it's coming up pretty easy right here so far. made of copper so it's pretty soft but we don't want to bend it too much okay that's your heat pipe and I forgot about that a heat pipe goes under that so we just lift that up for a second and there we go stick it down so what that's going to do is displace the, the heat from the uh, cell phone processor so that way it doesn't overheat. And that's the thermal paste for it. Okay, now we're going to have to remove, looks like a charge port out of the bottom here. And we got the microphone. Some of the screws are falling away. There we go. So that's below that. Careful with this, this does not want to come up right. You get your tweezers just under it, just careful enough. This is a very delicate piece right here. I'm gonna go from this way. Looks like it's on some kind of plastic bracket so I can't hurt it underneath. I'm just lifting here and trying to unclip it. There we go. So it was really clipped in there. 
and we got it. So that's going to sit on top. And we want to, I like to remove these little gold pieces on the other LGs and put it across on the new one. So be really careful not to damage that. I find those pretty important. So it looks like this foam piece is not transferred. So we're going to transfer that over to this piece here. That's probably to give the speaker some water resistance. Um, a little foam piece here, probably not transferable. Nope. That foam piece is there. Just make sure we got everything out of this frame before we set it aside. Looks like this piece is not transferred. That's for your SIM card slot. It's very important to find every little piece. See that little piece, it could have been easily missed and you had to tear down the whole darn thing all over again, which would be quite frustrating. Okay, so we're gonna pull that adhesive there off and line these up over the little holes there. Do the same thing with this one, over the holes. There we go. And so a little heat would help remove that. That's why I heated up that frame quite well so that way we can remove everything. Okay, so now we're going to clip in the SIM card or the charge port. All right. I'm going to set that in there carefully and see how's the battery connected again. Is it above or above? Oh, both. Above, above. Okay, it's right there. All right, so we're going to connect all this, then put the double sided tape, then put everything together. I have to stress about that heat pipe. You guys have to be really careful with that. If you're not, the phone will overheat um, and it will overheat fast. So be careful that you break it, you're, you're done for. I don't even know where if you can buy another one of those. If you buy it with just the glass, then good luck with that because it's not going to happen. Glass repair on these devices, these newer devices are getting harder and harder. And so I don't recommend doing glass repair only. And yep, I did forget something. So guess what? We have to take that out. And we have to put this in first. Video editor, do not edit that out. Leave that in, please. So we're going to apply that in. I like to show my mistakes, guys, not erase them, because I don't think it's fair. I think you guys should understand that I am human too, and I can forget part of the jigsaw puzzle. I call these jigsaw puzzles because they're crazy. So we're just connecting these two connectors here and that's your charge port and that's your LCD connector. And it looks like we need some double-sided adhesive tape now. Um, two strands is good enough. It's not gonna go anywhere. Just one right here and one right here. You could even put just one in the middle and you're probably good, but it's kind of a wide battery, so I'd recommend two strands. I'm going to actually connect it first, then slap it in. Makes our life easier. Okay. Now this piece is going to connect to this piece. And I think they just lay on top of each other, and there's no clipping action like the Galaxy 8. That's not a screw hole. <laughs> okay, we got all that in. Now, do we use the original adhesive or do we use new adhesive? Well, only where the adhesive's coming up is where you're gonna really need to. 
So the only spot that we are missing adhesive is right down here. If you're missing a lot, just remove it all by heating it up on the back and then just peeling it up carefully. Okay, so we're just gonna replace the one little spot which is right here. And now's the time to check your phone too, by the way, make sure it works. I usually turn it on, but, oh yeah, you can't turn on the phone until you seal it up because of this piece. Ho, ho, ho. Um, so one of these connectors here, turn on the phone. So I have to figure out what it is. Okay, so it's these two connectors held for about three seconds to turn on the phone. You can do that without putting this whole thing together. Now that's turning on, I'm gonna put some tape down. Okay, we're in the phone and it's, looks like it's turning on here. I forgot to put the SIM cards in to check, but you should definitely put the SD card and SIM card in. It's gonna restart. Okay, so we laid down the double-sided adhesive tape. And we're gonna warm it up. This was a really fun phone. I enjoyed doing the LG G6. Uh, a little bit more than the Galaxy S8. I still need to um, put that on video, but I've been pretty busy with it. I got big plans for a Galaxy S8, guys. Possibly $200 to do glass repair for everybody. Not verified yet, but very possible. Hot, 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 hot. Something is popping it up here. All this came popping out. Just make sure that's all clipped in around the side there. Oops. Let's break the phone before I use it. It's all good. Beautiful. Well, this has been Dustin Knight with TechMD. I appreciate uh, watching these videos. Please subscribe and uh, I will have more videos coming soon. Thank you.